I'm at a point in my life where I want to just live life. I want the white picket fence dream. I want to get married. I want to have kids. And I think for the longest time, I'm not going to lie, I was a runaway bride. I've been the girl that's terrified of commitment. But I'm realizing that no matter how organized your ducks are, life can turn on two seconds. So you can't keep on waiting. Because if you keep on waiting, it's gone. But having a partner like CT with me gives me some sort of weird relief that I know somebody is in my corner. And that feels comforting. <laughs>
was so nice. I thought I was going to be slick. At least tell me how it is. No, it was perfect. Good. It was innocent and not. It was very innocent. It was very innocent and very romantic and very beautiful. And I'm proud that you waited as long as you did. It was definitely number one ever. Best kiss in the world. <laughs> Winning every challenge. I know I'm not going into duel, and uh, I'd rather flirt with Dean. He made me the happiest girl thus far. You say so. <laughs> <laughs> I love that giggle. What? I know you You've have to say it. You've my life. Period. I what? Impacted my life. Period. I have. Yes. I like him. CT's a good boy, and I'm glad we kissed. Because <laughs> now we get to do it again. And again, and again, and again, and again. I don't know what you're doing with me. We should see what you, you would see what I see. Over time, I'll get you to see what I see. <laughs> I believe in you. You're gonna win this. You know, hope so. No, you're going to. Good. I think Dean was strong. She has a lot of heart. She wants to win bad, and she's got the determination, and she's gonna make her body do it, whether she's scared or not. I want Deem to win. I want me and Deem to be a pair going into the final challenge. You're stronger than she is. You got more heart than she does. You're smarter than her. Just be smarter than her. I'm listening to you. That's it. You're my head now. <laughs> I love this head. CT has not allowed me to think that I'm going home. He's puffing me up so much that I think I have it. What are you going to do with that stuff? It's love. <laughs> it's like a puddle of pudding on my back right now. This is gross. This isn't cool at all. What kind of background is this? I guess I just really like CT. As dorky as that sounds, he has my back and I trust him fully. Oh, public enemy number one right there. Oh my god. Oh yeah. Don't do the one. <laughs> I'm so confident in, in myself, and I'm confident in Diem. We don't need to even associate with that crap that's going on in the house anymore. It's me and her against the rest of them. <laughs> you made me really happy, and I've never, like, I feel so much better now, and I just want to say thank you. Okay. You know, if you ever need me, you can call me. <gasps> CT has really given me the confidence and the push that I needed to realize it's I don't need to be shamed or scared. I feel so happy and so lucky and so blessed. Are you kidding me? I got to do everything I ever wanted to do and finally feel OK with being me. And it's, you can't put a price on that. CT's awesome. We're still, we're still together. I'm really happy and lucky that we're on the same team because we're both really competitive and I know that he'll keep me in check and he'll vote my butt off just as fast as I'll vote his. Hey, hey, how you feeling? <laughs> Hold on. It's taking me a year to vote his CT promised me I'd be able to shave his head because, you know, it makes me happy. It looks hot. If this house is driving me crazy and I'm thinking, you know what, let's make a, let's make a change, let's get rid of this guy. I'm shaving my head right now because, you know, I really don't like the person I'm becoming in this house. And, you know, I want to turn over a new leaf. I want to change this character up. I want to grow. Your mom is so lucky! Oh, you want the back on? No, no. Hey, leave, leave me a rat tail. <laughs> Who's that? She's excited. I want to win, and I want, I want the first place. The last couple of challenges, we it was more of like not coming in last rather than coming in first. I can't have going in with one game plan, and then you have another. I really just want to be on the same page as her, and I don't know what page she's on or what chapter. 
What's that matter? What book she's reading? He has a problem. We don't communicate enough. And I just feel like, you know, it's going to create this tension with us, and then we're not going to trust each other. The way I communicate with you, like, I really do feel like even, even... You always has an ulterior See, motive on, when you communicate. For example, you talk over me. I'll try, okay? I'll bite my tongue. At first, I wasn't sure if I should tell you everything I was thinking, because I don't know where, where your head's at when it comes to the game. I can't win without you, so... And I can only help. It's obvious that you're, like, this great athlete and everything. And I know the... Whoa, 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 let's back that up. Did you just say something nice? It sounded like something nice. That's why I'm like, wait, it couldn't have been that. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice to see a certain look in CT's eye because he's not hating me. I feel like we're really breaking through walls today. I meet, I meet egg white omelet for all the fellas. CT and I, we had an amazing relationship, but I saw CT treat me like crap when he was drunk. On Gauntlet 3. Can you calm down? You're talking. No! To you're talking to me. Can you calm yeah, down? Yeah, I'm talking to you. Someone I've been protecting for what? How long now? Somebody I've been doing my time with for how long now? When do I get mine? Yeah, right. Walk away then. That's right. That's how you do it. You walk away and do you. So we had to end it. Like I told him, you know, maybe in five years, I'd, you know, get married when I'm 30 or whatever, but not now. And career first. And he hates those words. He's had a hard, hard time lately, and all I wanted to see in this challenge is him being okay. You two again? No. Seriously. No. Get a room. Hardly. Tell me what you heard. I haven't heard anything. I've had 10 people come up to me and saying, you need to do something. 10. What? What is it, though? They won't tell me, but they're like, give me these eyes. Like, you don't want to look stupid. You need to know something about CT. He hooked up with, um, Siobhan. Katie tells me. And that's when I lose it. Why is no one saying this? I went in the room to tell you the story. I was sleeping. It's so disgusting to me, and it's so hurtful. And I couldn't imagine that this guy that I do love as a person and care about would ever want to make me look stupid or make me hurt. And I'm crushed inside. Is that, okay, that's Yeah, she came up to me. She goes, you need to know something. Whatever, you believe Please? whatever you I believe I'm saying, oh, no, no, I tell you what, Dave, I don't care. It doesn't, it's not even important to me. But you don't, I'm not you don't, doing anything wrong. I know, but I'm just saying my feelings right now aren't important to you. Career first, baby. I'm the one you want to be with, but five years from now. So what, you expect me to just sit around and act like I love you? Stop. Can you please Okay, stop? hold on. CT saw Adam and I talking, and I know that it's my fault that Adam's hurt. What do you want? You won the fight. Don't touch me. It's not about, I don't give a I win every fight. You want him to die? Are you kidding me? Yeah. I will smash his head and eat it. Listen, Dee is upset. You know Dude, I'm not with her. I know. But she's someone that I could the whole freshman line if I wanted to. Why is she crying? CT. Damn, beat it. Thanks for nothing. I didn't do anything. No, of course you didn't. You, you shouldn't even be crying. It's not like it's five years later. Career first. Good luck with it. Next up, CT and DM. Turns out you guys have a lot of history. We were a couple for a, over a year and a half. It kind of fizzled out. We do not talk. I don't know if you're mad at me. We are not Facebook friends. I don't know if we're going to get along. Nothing. We got a lot of catching up to do, apparently. All right, no, stop crying. I'm not crying, stop crying. I would never stop cry over you. I was happy I left you. And I was really? happy I moved on. It's like a bad dream for me. I'm stuck with a psycho ex-girlfriend who is trying to nag me to death, and I can't escape. You're a monster, and I'm not. Yeah, OK. I've never pushed really? someone's head really? against a wall. No. You have. Yeah, okay. You want to hit me with cheap shots? I got cheap shots for days. Well, now you're trying to rekindle a relationship that was over six anything. years ago. Please. Get over it. Get over it. It was half a decade ago, I... damn. I'm just like, are they really going to go there again? I don't understand that relationship at all. Most of my family, like, no, they couldn't stand you. Okay. They thought you were fake as And she left us hanging. The way that he is yelling at me, I don't know this person. I'm so upset and I'm so hurt. The things that he's saying to me are crushing. 
Just leave me the f alone. That's all. I hate you. Yeah, cry forever. I hate you. No, DM took the cake. She was yeah. all over the place. So me and DM haven't talked since we both verbally vomited on each other. And we need to have a talk and clear the air because we are on the same team. But I got my work cut off for me because this girl drives me crazy and she is as stubborn as I am. I'm trying so hard to like keep everything in check. I'm trying so hard to make my mind be the leader. And right now, like my emotions are the leader, and I don't like that. Like I want, I don't want him to like make me upset or make me <clears throat> like great or, or yeah. sad. Here's where it gets hard. This is where it gets real tough, dude. Who was that? Get it. Get it. That ain't you. Oh, my God. That's it. Oh, my God. Shut the f*** up. The whole contraption is shaking, and I almost take a spill. Thank God I have cat like reflexes. Cursing in my mind. I'm trying to keep my cool. I feel so bad for my partner. I wish I could help. There you go. You got it. You got it. There you go. No bad steps. You're getting it. You got it. You got it. Go. Go. It is literally hard to watch. You're just like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm sorry. I don't. I don't need to stop. All right, that's it, you guys. I absolutely feel like I'm letting Priscilla down, but what am I going to do? I didn't practice walking on honey at home. Hey, good try, man. Don't worry. You may now kiss the bride. <laughs> All right, yeah, just, just don't lose that that's real. Ah, there you go, huh? See? There you go, everybody's good. Ah, oh, we won! <laughs> I'm so excited, I can't believe we won. Especially this challenge, <laughs> it's kind of ironic as- Cold feet, that's all we got. <laughs> Drinks on me tonight. Come on, Chris. You did great, you did great. Go get it, team, go get it, go get it! Big cat, the big cat! You made it, man. Get it, buddy. What a work, Tim. That's my girl. Yeah, you are one of the tough bitch. Yay. You did great. This is... We did what we had to do. Then we're not in last place. <laughs> Crossing the finish line. I have so many mixed emotions. Coming into this challenge, hearing that it was exes, I wanted to run out the door. <laughs> Having an opportunity to get to reconnect with CT and get to know him now became like good partners. All right, CTD, 100,000 bucks. Nice work, you guys. I'm glad we got the chance to square things away and be on the same team once again, you know? It was nice. After everything we've been through, me and Dean's relationship is a special one. I still wouldn't trade it for anybody else. That's for sure. I will always have a special place in my heart for CT. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, I can't get away from you. And you're upset? Kind of. Oh, kind of? Yeah. <laughs> yeah Why? Me. Why are you so crazy? Really? No, yeah. You embarrassed me. How? You act like you're in love with me. You like speechless. So wow. Stop hiding already. I'm not trying to hide. <laughs> Take them off already. Do what off? That thing. What's that thing? A weave. Take it off. It's a wig. Like a year ago, I was trucking up an Iceland glacier. <laughs> and between then and now, getting ovarian cancer again, I was told I wasn't going to see the next year. But you realize very quickly that if you don't let things crush you, you become stronger. Come on. Can we see you already? But CT knows my weak spot. 
And my weak spot is not feeling comfortable without my wig. If you take it off, I'll kiss you. Oh, is that like a moment? So baby, we are going down and I'll always always been great about giving me confidence. That's how he got me the first time. I'm really confused right now, to be totally honest. Like, I'm just really confused. You don't remember anything from the other night. That was a very nice thing to do, sleep on the floor. You remember waking up in my bed. It was nice. The bag is still telling me. <laughs> I need one of those, those, those rub downs. Fine. In the beginning of this challenge, I wanted nothing to do with CT looking up and seeing him again. It makes you feel good, I'm not gonna lie. It makes you feel great. We're getting to know each other all over again. We're having fun with it. You, you like me again? You falling for me again? Huh? Love and marriage? Why pick a fence? Oh Tell you this? Stop pumping out kids now? Oh my, huh? stop. <laughs> all right, let's do this. Old friends did it. I don't really care what people have to say about me the DM, because it ain't gonna matter anyway. You know? He's gonna hate. <laughs> I'm a little confused of if y'all were going in, I would come to you guys and be like, you guys are my number one team. I want to see you win money. Who do you want? Damn, all you had to do was not come in last year and say, okay, if you told us if you ever went in, you would want the tougher team. Because I thought the tougher team was Carmen and Cook. Oh, so now you didn't say that. Uh, I heard you wanted the harder team. I did, I did say that. And you didn't say, oh, I thought. But I thought at least you would come in this, this ask. That's we all. I, we, well, we, I'm sorry we didn't ask you, DM. We didn't think it would really be that big of a deal because there's only two teams on the chopping block right now. I don't care if DM's upset. I like Camilla and Jimmy. And Emily and Paula really haven't done anything for us in this challenge. I don't know what she's really upset about. You're going in anyway, and you really don't have a choice. I Why was, do you want I'm, us to protect I'm, Paula and Emily? I'm not trying, I'm trying to protect me. Like, I want to be in the final. You throwing in, Paul and Emily's like, bye. But damn, like, we can't do everything for you. I stuck my neck out for these people. Wes has been my friend for years, and CT's been my boyfriend, ex-boyfriend. I feel kind of duped. First off, you know how stupid I look with you? Why, Dim? Because you like me again? Is that what it is? If you like me again, this isn't the time to rekindle no, the relationship. Right. DM's had this power over me in the past where she would say job and I'd say how high. But she can't just come in and out of my life whenever she wants and just think she can just control me like she used to. I'm really confused. I didn't, I... That's an emotional yeah, thing. I am an emotional person! If I'm going to have kids, I need a surrogate. And I have to pay anywhere from twenty to $30,000 per kid. So, winning this prize, I could have four kids in the oven at the same time and get back on track and start my life. I'm gonna bring it back to X's one. From this time, my love. Back in black. <laughs> back in black, I like that, I like that. After everything she's been through, I really feel like DM deserves to win. And this is DM's, DM's game. Like, however she wants to play it, whatever she needs me to do, just, I really wanna help her win, and I think we have a really good shot. Alright, so we good though? We gotta kick some ass. How you been, by the way? You good? You think about me? <laughs> <laughs> Too soon? Too soon? Oh my god. Pull me back! Pull me a little bit more! You're pulling me back! Alright, go ahead. Split, split! Yeah, baby, you did it! Yeah, D! Yeah, D! Everyone knows he's awesome, and I feel like sometimes I had to prove myself, so. Wait, he'll... you think I'm awesome? Alright. So, well, I guess you can say you trusted me. You trust me? Oh, God. We're going to take that shoebox, and on this side, everybody's going to sign in. You can write a little something, whatever, you know? CT cares about Diem so much. CT got her a whole bunch of cute little beachy stuff and puts it in a nice box, and everybody signs it and writes her a little note on it. Hopefully, it can be like a welcome home present. Hope you feel better. <laughs> that is not how you hold a pen. How many fingers you got on that thing? <laughs> Yay! Perfect. Any way you want.
know tomorrow when she gets back, she's gonna be hugging everybody one at a time. When she comes back and she sees this little care package we made for her, I think it'll make her feel better. Bring a smile to her face. Guys, come on down. Can you guys meet me in the nominations room, please? All right, Pete. Grab the people from that room. Did you see her? No. Whatever comes our way, you know? But she's more important than the challenge. No, for sure. You know? you know, it's crossed my mind that DM may have more than a, a tummy ache. And if that's the case, I'll leave on the next flight with her. No questions asked. What's up, guys? As you guys know, DM has a medical problem. Those issues will keep her from continuing with this game. So, CT, unfortunately, we gotta send you home too, man. I'm sorry. I hate to see you go, man. It's fine. Just knowing DM's condition and knowing where she stands from a health perspective, I know this is horrible news. All right, I'm gonna go pack my bags. CT is very anxious to be by DM's side, and at the end of the day, money means nothing if you don't have people in your life that you care about. Poor girl can't catch a break, man. No, usually the only time I go home this early is if I suck at somebody in the face. <laughs> As a competitor, you always dream of some way of getting CT out of the house, but this is not the way that you wanted it to go. She'll be all right, right? She's, yeah. she's a tough chick. I think just you being there is probably gonna help a lot, dude. Thank you, girls, for doing this. You're welcome. Absolutely. Especially when you're not feeling good. I know she just wants Chris. Uh, pray for her, brother. See when you get back. This is only a fraction of how much suffering she oh, yeah. has been through in her entire life. I would have just given up. She's a strong, strong woman. Yeah. After last season, we lost two beloved challengers. We lost Ryan Knight and Dean Brown. Lost her very hard-fought battle with cancer. So here to help us remember DM Brown, we brought out CT and DM's bloodline, her little sister, Faith. Come on out, guys. It's CT and DM's little sister, Faith. This is so cool. I don't know how this is gonna change the game, but I don't care. I'm just so excited to see them and remember why I'm here. There's a lot of things in the past, like everybody wants to let go, man. Today's, uh, uh, today, what a day to do this. What? What do you mean? What's, what, what about this? Why this, why this day? See? If you don't mind me asking. Special day. Today, this is, this is a special one for me for a number of different reasons on a number of different levels. Is this the day? I don't know. We're all curious now. Yeah. Damn. Damn. I'm sorry, CT. We're not trying to talk behind your back. We're just all no, curious. Right. Yeah. We're all just curious. That's all, bro. So we're not trying to no, get quiet. Don't even worry about it. OK. It's a good day. It's a good day. What is today? Um, it's DM's anniversary. Today is? Today happened to be DM's anniversary. It's kind of crazy that this is happening today. We kind of went through it together. We were very close to her. She was a very special person. You know I still love you. I don't understand why you ever kissed me. Ever. And I tell her, I don't want her to hide herself from me. It's about her opening herself up to me and being comfortable around me as her. And then she takes her bandana off. And now I feel like she's not gonna hide herself from me anymore. She used to love the challenges. Come on, Chris! <laughs> Push for it, come on! CT has helped me through so many obstacles in life, and all I wanna do is help him through this one. Push for it, come on! <laughs> she used to be so fierce and powerful and just an amazing human being. What is the love if you love's not enough? What if I fall and can't bear to get up? Oh, I wish for once we could stay gold. 
She always fought. She never gave up. She fought till the end. I don't want to. No, like, it's just, I don't want to do this right now. The fact that today's our anniversary and that today we're kind of letting go of the past and moving forward to the future, it just shows that she's here with us and she's looking down on me and she's looking down on CT. She's looking down on all of us. Grateful that you're there waiting for me. The last couple years, I've um, I've been carrying a heavy heart, say the least. Te amo, mi mucho. I wasn't in a good place. I, I felt broken. You know, I didn't. Uh, I really didn't have much to, to live for. I had to try to pick the pieces up. And this little kid, this little boy, you know, gave me a reason, gave me a purpose. You know, helped me heal, helped me. Uh, move forward, you know, and since then, I've just been trying to get better and better to finally just let go of the past and to look forward to my future with my family and my son, and I'm looking forward to being happy again, you know? Cash lights burned out. Sush is lit. Anybody need a drink? Let's get one. I think we just received a blessing. Uh, yeah. It's crazy to think that the moon and the stars just aligned for this to happen after everything I've been through. At this very moment, on this day. If that's not a sign, I don't know what is. I'm afraid, sort of fire. The tree.